Hello and welcome to another Process Love Candy. My name is Mark Shear and this is a demonstration of my work in Procreate. Today's piece of love candy was drawn for the 2019 Miss Fleurieu Pinup Parade, which was held last September at Victor Harbour Rock and Roll Festival. And Ms. Juniper Berry here was one of the winners, taking out the crown for Miss Classic Pinup. And as one of the sponsors of the event, I donated this drawing so I could help promote and share the love and draw one of these wonderful women who've worked hard and put themselves out there to just be part of something and be wonderful. So I thank you for that because I love seeing all these modern pinups out there. They inspire me to do these wonderful drawings, uh, which I enjoy doing thoroughly and try my best to support this community that I love. Ms. Juniper Berry here was wonderful to draw as well. I enjoyed it thoroughly. The shapes and forms and this outfit is just absolutely gorgeous. I tried to give this one a lot more of a delicate touch with softer colours and you know, not, not too strong a makeup or anything like that. Uh, my line work here, I've used my own new pen which I've been creating in Procreate, uh, trying to emulate a good ink brush pen here, but I've really enjoyed doing this drawing. Her hair was fun to do, it's very similar uh, volumes to my wife's, so it was really good to get that kind of um, you know, wavier hair in there and the thickness and the volume. The pattern in the dress was just absolutely stunning. Uh, there was no way I was going to be able to encapsulate that perfect, so I just do my best to do a, my own interpretation of that pattern on that dress. Just one layer at a time, simplifying the colours just so I can get it down quickly. Otherwise, I would be here for hours on end to create such a masterpiece. Uh, so it's just my job here to just do a interpretation of that and just put the simple gestures of the shapes and forms of that pattern down. And I draw them all individually. I just keep going. It's, I don't stamp it because some of these flowers have to flow and bend to the um, to the material in the in the dress. Once I've finished all the textures in this base coat, it's now time for me to go onto my um, flesh tone. So I, I put this <laughs> layer down, which kind of ends up looking like your sunburn for a second there. But it's really just a moment to um, put down all the warm areas of the of the skin. So all the areas where the blood rushes, the elbows, the cheeks, the neck. So just to get a, a bit more pink and blood flow in there, which um, really warms up a character. I've got a little process happening now where I just put down a few different, I'll do two layers of shadows and then two layers of highlights on a character. Uh, I start with my standard textured brush and then I'll go back over those with a soft edge eraser to knock them back and make them less harsh. I've also here made the skin tone shadows a little redder than the rest of the um, character. But once I've finished with uh, my shadows I'll move on to my highlights and add a few more of those, getting bolder and bolder with those lines. Um, just leaving the really white highlight shadows in the most shiniest area um, so the cardigan won't shine as much as the skin will and I like to leave those little moments of extra really strong uh, highlights just for the cheeks just for, so the face really stands out and then finally in the end I'll just whack a few little bits of extra loose line work over the edge and sign that and be very proud of it and I hope Miss Juniper Berry loves this piece I enjoyed drawing it for you and congratulations on being brilliant <laughs> <laughs> well thank you all for hanging out with me I've really enjoyed showing you this drawing don't forget to like this video and I will see you in the sunshine